So guys, here you can see one more as we came about the HTML and in today's uh, like you know previously we started our new series about the full stick web development. So here you can see one more as we came about it and we are starting from our front end and front end we are starting from our first language of the HTML. And this is one more video has been came out the HTML and in today's HTML video I am telling you the basic examples. If you don't know what is that so see it when you start to and then your I hope your whole concept will be clear about it when the HTML are the basic examples. And please like this video, share your friends and subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to all the notification bell also never miss out any future later videos about the Polish take web development. So without thinking of any times, let's move to the blue world screen and let's do according with loving it. So guys, in today's HTML video, I'm telling about some basic examples of HTML in the full stick web development. I'm telling some HTML basic examples. So yeah, I'm telling about it. So without wasting any time, let's get started and let's talk about some HTML basic examples. And now let's start. In this chapter, we will show you some basic HTML examples. Don't worry if you use text, uh, you have to not learn about yet. HTML documents. All HTML documents must start with a document type declaration like this. This type of document type declaration. Okay, here you can see it. The HTML document uh, itself begins with HTML and uh, HTML start tag and ends with the HTML end tag. The visible part of the HTML document is between the body and the body okay this type of here you can see it is starting code and ending code now this is one example in this example here you can see it first of all we start our declaration of the html then we define our html code and in the body we write in the body uh, i write like h1 and p tag here you can see it now let me copy uh, let me write this code in the visual studio code so how we can write this first of all i create our new window and I in the next in the previous video, I've already told you that how to create a file and how to download the text editor. And like you know, we are using the our text editor by the name of Sublime. And I in the previous video, I told you about how to download it, how to do that, do that all things using that. So let me do it. So first of all, uh, using the Sublime text editor, let me tell you what can I do. First of all, I close a file and I create a new file from here. I create a file save as and I'm creating this file on my documents and giving my file name is like index.html. You must give your file name index.html if you do not give your uh, sorry in not it is not very much important you write dot html uh, extension if you do not write dot html then it uh, then your html file will be not made it okay at the end you must write a dot html in the starting you write anything this is your own choice but at the end you write dot html that is very important. So when I uh, when I create the index.html file, uh, this type pop up is coming like I come from save as like index.html file already active. Do you want to replace it? Like in the previous video, I have made this file about the index.html. So that's why he is saying me, uh, do you want to replace that file? Yeah. Uh, in my that file, there is not any such type of important work. So I'm pressing yes. If in that file there is some important work of yours, so you will press no. Okay. I'm pressing yes now. When I press yes, so now let me write the code. So first of all, to write an automatic code of HTML, you write only HTML, then enter press. Then here you can see it, all starting code of the HTML has been came in front of you. Here you can see it. So let's minimize it. Sorry, not minimize it. Come here. Now in the body, in the body, what you write here? First of all, you define here H1, like H1, then enter, then in h1 you write this is a heading and then p like this and here you write this is a paragraph and in the click of the file and save and then where you save a file i save my file and my documents and when my file name is index.html here is my file and when i open my file it is coming like this is a heading and this is a paragraph like this here you can see it now let me minimize this all thing and let me open my word file the doc type declaration the doc type declaration represent the document type and help browser to display the web pages correctly it must only appear once at the top of the page before any html tags okay the doc type declaration is not case sensitive the uh, doc type declaration is for html5 is doc type html html headings html headings are defined with h1 to h6 tags 
as one defines most important heading and as six define the least important heading like this here you can see it when you write here like h1 then if you write here h2 this i am writing here the subheading okay this is a subheading and then h3 this is a smaller than subheading like this so when i show you so the h1 is bigger than h2 then h2 is bigger than h3 h3 let me show you here you can see it h1 is bigger than h2 is uh, it's a bigger uh, it uh, the h1 is bigger than h2 and h2 is bigger than h3 like this now html paragraph html paragraph or the defined with p tag like here you can see it with p tag okay let me show you how let me erase it like this p here in p tag this is a paragraph the paragraph is defined by the p tag this is one more paragraph save it and run it like this here you can see it now html links html links are defined with the a tag with tag with the a tag like if i write here code with raya so with the a tag you define a link like if i show you if i go on my visual study code this whole thing i will be told you in the upcoming uh, tutorials first of all you write a and then you write here href and in the href you write here the link which you are uh, which you will be open it i'm i'm going here and i'm opening my google for youtube and when i open it my youtube i'm writing my channel here by the name of code with pk and when i open my code with pk channel and um, i'm going my videos sorry home and then i'm copy the link and i'm pasting here and then i'm go here and then i'm writing here in the end of here i'm writing like this is a link and then when you save it and when you run it here so here is coming that this is a link when you click this link so you will directly will be go on my youtube channel here you can see it when you click in this link you are directly going on my youtube channel like this you will be do it very easily as yes. okay here you can see it. when i'm clicking on to the uh, here it is uh, directly going on my youtube channel here you can see it now the link destination is specified in the href attribute attribute are used to provide additional information about the html element you will learn more about hd attributes in the later chapter i am telling you some basic uh, uh, html uh, examples okay so now html images are defined with the img tag which tag img tag let me tell you the source file is src means seric and alternative text is alt in the alt you write your alternative text and width and height are provided as attributes okay let me do this so do this uh, first of all you write here image img and then i'm my i have already um, and you must know where is your html file there is your image also okay not anywhere it means like your file is in your documents and your image is e in e drive not uh, when your file is in your documents so your image will be also in add documents okay so i have already a, i have an image by the name of css.gpg let me show you let me come here here is my image uh, where is that where is that okay there is yeah this one image css.gpg i have already have uh, and now here i write my alternative text like uh, like in the alternative text i am writing here like come here i am writing here code with rayan.com and then i am giving width let me show the width let width is 104 and height i am giving should be 142 okay now when i do this save it and run it one image has been also become but it is coming like that why because i give him width should be 104 and height should be 142 If you learn more about the uh, CSS, so when our HTML will be ended, then we come on our CSS. Do not take a stress. How to view the HTML source? How have you ever seen a web pages and wondered, hey, how did uh, they do that? View HTML source code. Click Control U in an HTML page or right-click on the page and select the View Page Source. 
This will open a new tab containing the HTML source code of the page. Let me show you how. Uh, in here, you click on the right click or click on the uh, view page source. Then here you can see it, this source is coming which we are writing here. Here you can see it. Or you, all, or you will also press control U. So this type of source has been automatically will be open. This is one shortcut key. Okay. Now inspect an HTML element. Right click on an element or a blank area and choose the inspect to see what elements are made up of. Uh, of uh, you will see both the HTML and CSS. You can also edit the HTML and CSS on the fly in the elements or style panel that opens. Means that uh, when you click on the when you right click and inspect. So then here you can see this type of one uh, uh, file has been opened and CS with CSS and HTML. You and uh, you are also will change here. Like if I give where it should be 500 pixels, so where it should be 500 pixels has been come like this. But when you re refresh it from here, so then it will become in this same position. Here you can see it like that. So in today's video, I told you some basic examples of the HTML like IMG tag, like the uh, doc type declaration, and I am told you about the A means href tag. And like I've told you about uh, what are our H1, P paragraph, and like that, I told you many much more things. I hope you can enjoy this class. If you enjoyed it, please like this video, share around, subscribe to my channel, and do not forget to all the notification bell also. Now, miss out any future latest video about it. So, now um, I meet you next lesson, next video. I'm really glad to about videos about the HTML. So, for today, goodbye.